Welcome to Mallet Creek STEM Academy. My name is Mr. Roberts, the assistant principal. When you arrive on our beautiful campus, you can't just walk into the door. You have to stop, ring the doorbell. Our receptionist will see you through the camera and let you in. Good morning. Another security measure we have here is our receptionist will receive your ID and run it through our Raptor system, where it checks your identification. Once you're approved, now you're allowed in the building. Hi, I'm Deanna Smith, principal of Mallard Creek STEM Academy. Mallard Creek STEM Academy is located in Mecklenburg County. Our students come from Mecklenburg County and neighboring Gaston and Cabarrus counties. We offer transportation to and from school for these students. Our campus is on 21 acres. It includes an elementary building, a full gymnasium, and a middle school building. We offer breakfast and lunch through the National School Lunch Program, and free and reduced lunch is available. And Mallard Creek STEM Academy also offers a before and after care program, not to mention a multitude of clubs and sports. Our most favorite club is the chess club and our Lego robotics club. We offer sports to fifth grade through eighth grade students, and these sports include basketball, volleyball, track, and cheer. What sets Mallard Creek STEM Academy apart from other schools is the instructional learning style. Our goal is to provide a workshop model to students which is highly engaging, offers opportunities for them to problem solve, develop critical thinking skills, and apply the, the learning standards to real life situations. We focus on environmental and social issues and encourage students and empower them to make a change in their, in their community, whether it be their classroom community or their community at large. Another important part of the workshop model is the individualized learning. In the workshop model, students spend time with their teacher working on skills necessary for them to reach their personal academic growth. Now that I've told you a little bit about the school, why don't we go meet some teachers and have them tell you about what happens inside of the classroom. What I really love about our school is the family feeling here. Let me introduce you to Mr. Williams. He's a math facilitator and teacher. He'll tell you all about the great stuff that goes on inside of the classroom. Hi, Mr. Williams. Hey, Ms. Smith. Hey, I'm Mr. Williams. Come on into my classroom. At, at Mallet Creek STEM Academy, we offer math to all grades, K through eight. Uh, grade three is where we begin the EOG testing, um, three to eighth grade. We also offer ninth grade courses. Uh, as a STEM school, we definitely see that the world is changing rapidly, and it's my job to make sure that so do our instructional strategies. So if you are in a math class, something that you'll see is that there's a lot of hands-on activity. See, gone are the days of uh, lecturing mathematics and uh, mindless note-taking. Rather, we have an, an interactive experience. You know, so we have hands-on activities, we use manipulatives, you'll hear teachers asking Socratic questions, you'll see students collaborating and working with one another. There's an overwhelming majority of technology infusion used in every class. So in all of our classes, doesn't matter where you are, from kindergarten all the way up to eighth grade, you'll see these great things in mathematics. The younger grades, of course, as you get accustomed to math numbers and number fluency and things like that, you're gonna use a lot more of the hands-on manipulatives and being able to touch them and experiment with them. And as you get older, that then transitions into algebra tiles that you can you move around and we even use virtual resources that you can use online and things of that nature. So. It's a great kinesthetic experience for all those that are involved. So for the data-driven growth model, the way that we do that is by um, assessing the students to see where they are so that we can help them to see where it is that they need to be. So we have standards that they need to be addressed in every single grade level, math and science, and the students can track their own standards in their data tracker. They can see what standards they're proficient in already and what standards they need a little bit more help with. The teachers also have access to this information and what we do in every classroom is we utilize that information to tell us what is it that we need to target. That helps us pull intervention groups, that helps us pull um, small groups and to help helps us differentiate and have more of an individualized learning plan so that the students can get the assistance that they really truly need. 
Now, students can celebrate themselves in that data binder that I mentioned as they can see that they're growing along the school year, but we also have data trackers in the classroom that we post on the wall that they can see the, they can celebrate their growth as a class and as a whole and as a grade level. And that just leads to, to a positive culture and a warm environment where students are just excited to be able to learn, to be able to grow, and they're proud of themselves when they achieve something that they didn't know they could do before. So Ms. Smith mentioned that we have two buildings. So now we're in the other building and our STEM class is on the second floor. So let's take a ride and let's check it out. So here we are, ready to go to STEM. Now, one thing that you like about Ms. Flip is her energy. This class is so fun and amazing. You'll definitely enjoy it. Hey. Hi, Mr. Williams. Hey, Ms. Flip, good to see you. You too. We focus on um, science, technology, engineering, and math. Um, we also have STEAM, which will include the arts. Um, with STEM, um, we focus a lot on how we try to get critical thinking involved in learning. Um, we spend a lot of time collaborating so I can extend on what the teachers are doing in the classroom. Um, so the critical thinking comes in there and we collaborate a lot together so it's a lot of fun and the kids love coming here. Um, one of the things that we do is we use Legos to teach math. Um, so for an example, we have the Lego base. Um, and so in the lower grades, we'll use just like the, the actual blocks here to count. So we would say like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then get another one. So then we would know that eight plus eight is 16. Well, in the higher grades, um, we would use the blocks for multiplication and we would say that the eight blocks, and then we have four here, so that would be eight times four is 32. So we use a lot of different man manipulatives and we use a lot of different hands-on activities um, in the workshop model and so for STEM it's an amazing opportunity for kids to learn. Um, one of the, the most fun things for me that I enjoy the most is a life science part and um, every year I hatch chickens and I love them and one of the things that I'm going to do this year is use our 3D printer here to um, let the kids create a habitat for a chicken. Um, we do focus on the problem-based learning lessons here. Um, with problem-based learning we focus on how there is a problem and how we fix it and solve it. Um, with the project-based learning, we give you the project idea, and that's what the STEM fair is. Um, the STEM fair is when kids create their own project, but we focus more on the problem-based learning, where we give you a problem, we expect you to fix it. And of course, as a, as a mathematician or a scientist, you don't always get it right the first time, and you have to keep on trying to get it right, and that's what's so great about STEM. STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math. And with that, we focus on different ways to uh, expand our learning off of cooperative um, teaching with our other teachers. We base it off of what they're doing and we just get more in depth into it. Um, I have parents that, um, that are, they're concerned about their child's learning, but they don't really know how to support them. So I give them the tools and I also offer them to come in to you know, stay with me extra in the morning or after school to also better that their learning. And I also ask the parents to come in with them so I can show them how to teach. Because often parents don't know the new ways of you know, the core curriculum of how to teach these different math strategies. So I'm there to help them with that. I also do send home um, my, my slides that I teach so that they can also use those to help them with video links for the parents to to play at home that the kids have already seen so they're just getting more reinforcement of what I've already taught at home now let's go see Miss Scott she's our amazing kindergarten teacher she's shaping our minds hi Miss Scott hey Miss Flip good to see you you too so once we've identified where each student is academically we start to build our small groups um, in reading and in math. So in reading, that's when we pull um, specific groups based on skills that each group needs. And at that point, that's when the students start to notice, hey, you know, I'm not in the same group with this student. And so that's when we as teachers make sure that we are building a caring, safe, um, loving environment where they know where no matter where you're at we are going to meet you there and we are going to you know work on the skills that you have and make sure you're where you need to be for first grade so by the end of kindergarten um, we want our scholars to know about 100 sight words we want them to be be able to 
um, have some of those reading foundation, no skills, ready to go for first grade, being able to you know, identify um, different types of books, and we want them to be able to at least count to 20 and um, be able to write their numbers and, and write at least five to seven sentences in writing on a single topic. So, um, and all that is, you know, very doable for our kindergartners. We, um, we take our time throughout the school year to make sure that they, you know, are ready for first grade. Another great thing about Mallard Creek STEM Academy is our elementary students get to visit some special area classes each day. So included in that would be music, STEAM, STEM, and physical education. I would like to introduce you to our physical education teacher, Coach Clay. Here at Mallard Creek STEM Academy, we offer various opportunities to develop academic lessons as well as life lessons. We provide a safe environment as well as a competitive experience on and off the court. Professional development and situations such as sport medicine and uh, athletic training. One of the things that we always say is we can't win as long as we stick together.